Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Hope you guys had a great day yesterday. Um, today for language arts, we are going to focus on my favorite thing, grammar. Um, so taking a break from reading and writing, um, I just have what I consider to be a fun activity uh, about grammar. It's kind of like a little escape room breakout activity um, where you have to correctly answer some grammar questions to move on to the next level. I think there are seven levels um, and at the end there is a riddle that you will solve from the answers that you have entered with a little celebratory video at the end. Um, and so I'm going to review a couple of the skills that they're going to ask you on that Google form so that you are prepared and ready to break out of that. Um, before I go over those skills, one thing that you need to um, pay attention to on this activity is after every question that you get right, it'll say, you know, great job or you're killing it. And it's going to give you a keyword every question. And those keywords you have to use at the end to break out. So as you're going along, have like a piece of paper or open a blank Google Doc and jot down those keywords as you go because you're going to need them at the end um, and you won't want to go all the way back uh, to get those words. So um, one thing that it's going to ask you is about kinds of sentences and there are four basic kinds of sentences. Declarative, which is just a statement. My name is Mrs. Ginder. I am a teacher. It is windy out. Those are declarative sentences. Um, another kind is interrogative and that's a question. So if it has a question mark at the end, it's an interrogative question. Um, the other kind is um, exclamatory, which is like you're excited and you're shouting and there's an exclamation point. And then the fourth kind is called imperative. And that is when you are basically told to do something. It is a command. Go clean your room. Go do your homework. That is imperative. Uh, so one of the questions is going to ask you about that. Um, another one that we just reviewed will be about possessive nouns. So those are those words that show ownership of something and they will have an apostrophe with an S. Um, so it could be the cat's bed or the teacher's car. So those are possessive nouns that you're going to be asked about. Um, another skill they're going to quiz you on are proper nouns. And proper nouns are the person, place, or thing. That's what a noun is, right? Um, and proper nouns are specific people, places, and things, and they have capital letters. So we're talking about names of people, names of stores, um, restaurants, cities, states. So all of those specific names of people, places, and things with capital letters, those are proper nouns. Um, two more skills I think I need to review really quickly. Um, one of the questions is going to be about adjectives. And remember, adjectives are those describing words, words that can describe a noun. Um, so if you can picture something like a shirt or a cat or a couch, um, you're going to think of words that would describe those things uh, like soft, pretty, windy, hard. Um, those are adjectives describing words. And the last skill, I think I have notes down here, the last skill for verbs, um, the easy verbs are action words, right? So skipped and kicked and hit and studied and ate. All those actions, you know those are verbs. Um, the tricky ones are those sentences where there's a verb, because it has to have a verb in order to be a sentence, but it's not an action verb. So if you think of the sentence, um, she is a girl. There's no action in that sentence, but there's still a verb. And they are called verbs of being, and that verb is is. So those little almost connecting words uh, that show what something is or was, uh, those are also verbs too. So I am a teacher. There's no action in that sentence, but am um, is the verb in that sentence. They are asleep are is the verb. So those little tiny words can be a little tricky because they don't sound like verbs because they're not actions. Um, so you may need that for that breakout too. Um, I think those were all of the main skills I wanted to go over before you tried breaking out um, of that grammar activity. 
Um, so I think that is everything. I'm going to have a Zoom today at 1 o'clock for all 6th graders who want to join. Um, and that link is in It's Learning. And um, I'm super excited about talking with you today um, at 1 o'clock. I hope you can join us so I can see your faces. Um, so make it a great day and I hope to see you at 1.